Michelle from Local TV, sponsored by West Beer. And today we're here with Kyle Humphreys. Hi, Ash. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, surprisingly, for this time in the morning. Yeah. Even though it's the afternoon, it's still the morning. There's a time zone at the Edinburgh Festival for about six hours. Yeah. So this is 7am right now, right? Yeah. So tell us about your show. Oh, um, my show is, it's called Shameless. And it's, it's not, not nothing to do with the TV show, even though I'm a working class boy from a council estate in Blythe yeah. near Newcastle. Um, it, it isn't about that, it's about how shameless I am as a person. Are you very shameless? Yeah, and I, I'm embracing that fact in the show. I'm, I'm talking about my shameless decisions, my bad decisions, my own faults, and how they've all come together and had good outcomes. So I'm embracing my flaws. Really? That's what the show's about. So you performed at French before? Yeah, yeah, I've performed twice before in 2010, 2011. And enjoyed it. Had a year off last year and back to my third show this year. So, what were you doing in your year off? Um, I kind of used the money that I would have pumped into a French show to travel the world. I went oh. to New York and Madrid and Sri Lanka and had a, had a good time traveling around, doing gigs all over the world as oh, well. Oh, brilliant. So. Yeah. So is it is it different sort of audiences reactions and things performing in different countries as it is performing here or is it the same sort of vibe? Um, no, it's uh, it's kind of similar. Everyone's got a sense of humour everywhere yeah. you go. Um, sometimes I have to rein my accent in a lot more. Like when I performed in India, I couldn't be I couldn't be full on Geordie. Yeah. Whereas when I went to Australia, they got Geordie. They get they get some Geordie TV shows over there. They got like yeah, Geordie celebrities. So. Um, yeah, it just depends where you are, I guess. Yeah. So how did you get into comedy? Did you always know you wanted to do it? No, I'd never had a, I didn't have a clue. I was pl plodding on as a lifeguard. I worked at a leisure centre. Oh, yeah. And then um, I saw one gig just by chance. I went along with, a, I think it was a birthday party we went on. And I was just watching the stage and I was like, oh, I would mind giving that a go. And it wasn't a career plan. It was just like, I fancy doing it. Like, you know, if you see yeah. someone doing a bunch of job, oh, I wouldn't mind doing that. So I signed up for this new material night and had one gig and it went well and this kind of snowball from then it became a career like I, well it became my hobby and then I realised that it could become something to give it that extra push. So tell me about the finale part of the show. Right, I had, I had a near death experience just like three weeks ago. Oh, wow. I went I went to Pamplona to the bull run and um, uh, I I'll not give too much away because it's in the show coming with the show to see the full thing. But I had a I had a fall in a dangerous part of the run and um, I had a genuine near death experience with the photos to prove it. But what's good about this is that my, my show is autobiographical and it's all anecdotes from my life. So when when I get the near death experience it brings it all together because my life flashes in front of us and it, it calls it all back. So it's a nice tie in with a few little surprises. So yeah. come along and I've, I've got um, giant A1 pictures of the damage as well just oh, uh, as proof. So. Oh, so were you really injured? Um, I hate to spoil the ending but I'm still alive. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got away with just a tiny scratch. So. Okay, well that's good. But yeah, when you see the photos it's miraculous. I got away with a tiny yeah. scratch. So, so what do you do for fun when you're not performing and doing comedy? Oh, I just run in front of bowls. Run in front of bowls? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I do. Yeah, I'm uh, very athletic. Uh, so I like my snowboarding, rock climbing, um, football, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And what sort of, were there anybody that you really looked up to uh, as a comedian before you really got into it professionally? Oh, oh yeah, I was... Um, I was a big fan of Rod Gilbert and then when I was, um, I'd only been going 18 months, I still worked at the Leisure Centre, I got a phone call of Comedy Store Management saying that uh, Rod Gilbert's tour support uh, was unwell that day and asked if I could go along and support him and um, I just went away and absolutely lived the dream while I was still working full time. Yeah. I went and just supported my hero and then um, had to go back to work the next day. Oh, that's amazing. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming and speaking to us. Thank you. I'm Lucinda Shale, you've been watching Wobble TV.